Hey YouTube, it's Apex Viper One hitting you back with another video. Uh, the review I have for you today is uh, something kind of fun. Uh, it's, it was a, yeah, a birthday present from someone a number of years ago, um, and it's a belt I never thought I would ever own. Never thought I would want to own, really. But it's it's really neat um, uh, that I now have it and can show it to you guys. So what I've got for you here is a Fandu big gold belt, dual plated. So away we go. And actually, it has some other pieces. Let me sure uh, make sure I pull those out so I can show you later. So we'll start from left to right. You got your mail snap box. The straps on these are surprisingly good. They're they're not a hundred percent great. They're still stiff, but they're way way floppier than figs or WWE straps. There is some cracking there though, but that's you know it's not actual breakage. It's just folding of the leather. And you come come over here. Let's see how many how many snaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two by ten snap box. And it looks like the same on the other side too. Come over to the side plates. You got the grapplers over the head throw. I usually say it's either one or the other pinning combination. It's an overhead the head throw. This is interesting. The stone holders are smaller than the WWE version. Which I think is really interesting. And the fact that it's 3D'd is cool. That deep etching. Those stones are really good. They're smaller than the WWE version, of course. Get the little men in there. Then you come up here to the center plate. It's a three-plater belt. So it was pretty quick. Floral pattern is really cool. And I do actually like the stitching around the strap. I never thought I'd like stitching on anything. Just because it reminds me of like replica belts and fakeness. But this one kind of pulls it off. World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. Got the two-tone, you got the silver in there. You see how deep it is. That's really cool. And I do like the two-tone. Got the stones in the crown. Those look quite nice. Look at that. That looks really cool. You got the globe, which you can see the tarnish. It's an older belt, but I don't mind character it's got character kids then rick flair and a couple options on the nameplate the person who gave it to me gave it to me with that and two stings but just for some reason on this one i think rick flair looks the best so you got that Kind of nugget texturing underneath in the silver and the rope border around the outside. Rope border is always classic. And you look down here, it's got a fair curb to it. And you'll see something down here. I'll show it to you a little later. And you, that bend there in the strap is only because I have it sitting on my belt shelf. It's not messed up or anything. And you go to this guy, you got your other grapplers. You're really good etching, really deep etching. So Fandus are interesting. And you got your female snap set, pretty floppy. Four, five, and ten. Two by ten on this side too. So to the back of the belt we go, and there is your. Female snap set. 
And this is what you saw over there. Somebody, I don't know why they didn't finish it. Somebody put a croc backing on. And it actually does look really good. Nice and smooth. It's my only belt with backing. And this over here is because I was a moron and decided to try and take it off. Like using a heat gun and stuff, and it discolored a little bit. Don't use heat on your belts. <laughs> Cautionary tale of Apex Viper 1. But you can see it's pretty floppy. And it is... Really heavy. It's got a really good flap to it. it. Sits down on itself nice and easy. Folds down. Probably the best strap I have. So here you are, YouTube. Another one done. My Fandu Big Gold Two-Tone. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.